Hey Chapel students, welcome back to our last episode of our Rule of Life series. This is the eighth episode and it has been a crazy two months, no doubt. Not just in church world, but in the world in general. With that being said, our eighth and final practice of our Rule of Life series is to see yourself as God sees you. See yourself as God sees you. Paul writes to the uh, Corinthian church in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 16 and 17. He said, So we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. At one time, we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view. How differently we know him now. And here's our main verse. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. This is one of my favorite verses in all of the Bible because it speaks to the truth that if you are in Christ, you are a new creation. The stuff you did before Christ, the stuff you looked at, the way you thought, the way you viewed yourself, now that you are in Christ, if you believed in Christ, you are now a new creation. You should view yourself the way God views you. And the way God views you isn't some terrible, evil, wicked monster. He views you, if you are in Christ, as a son or daughter, a beloved son or daughter. Meaning no matter what you do, his love for you will never change because his love for you is rooted through Jesus. When you look at yourself, you should look at yourself the way God views you. Not as a, as a wicked person, but as a son or daughter. A new creation. Someone who is able to do wonderful and beautiful things now that you are in Christ. This is the whole message of the gospel, that Jesus came and died for us so that we could live the life that God intended us for. He created you and intends for you to do so many wonderful, wonderful things. But in Christ, you are now able to do those things, not for yourself and not for your own glory, but for his glory, to tell the world that this person, Jesus, came and died in my place for what I have done, for all the evil things that I've done, for the way I betrayed people, for the way I thought about my parents or my siblings or my friends. Jesus died so that I could live a new way of living. And so now you and I have the opportunity to represent Jesus. I shared that a few weeks ago. But now we have the opportunity to live as new people, a new creation for good and beautiful and wonderful things. So, I hope this Rule of Life series helped you begin to become more rooted in Christ because he is the one who makes all of this possible. He is the one who gives us glory. He is the one who gives us life. He is the one who gives us forgiveness and grace and mercy and hope and peace and confidence to move forward in life. So stay rooted in Christ and remember to see yourself the way God sees you as a new creation. God bless.